On a baking hot day in May, we were at the British Superbike meeting at Alton Park in Cheshire, giving you exclusive access to what went on behind the scenes. There was plenty of action both on and off the track, and James the Snapper showed us the best places to catch the action. Just on the exit of Druids, um, as you see the bikes will get the front wheel off the ground. Just as they come over the crest under acceleration, and so and they've got to the riders have to work quite hard to get the bikes back online, um, keep them in control. So it's quite a, quite a dramatic shot out of here. A number of times that people say, "Oh, you've got the best job in the world." Well. On a day like today, we probably have, but when it's siling down with rain and you've got to stand there and it's cold, miserable and horrible and you've still got to be out there, then obviously it's not quite so much fun. I think we'll just have a walk up to, uh, to the inside of Lodge, get a completely different shot. Lodge Corner on race day is, is sort of traditionally one of the last ditch attempt passing places. It's uh, sort of the last passing place before they go on to the start finish straight. At that point, there's a potential for for crashes, and uh, so the crashes are often the shots that get used. I guess you could say it started off as a hobby that got too expensive. Very, very few circuits that are as picturesque as this. But on race weekend, it's not all photography. There are plenty of other jobs that need doing. And ladies out there, there's something for you too. Right, hello there, my name's Tina. I'm technical coordinator, make sure we've got all the scrutineering guys in place for race day. So I'm just walking down there now. Across the country, we've got around 50 scrutineers, so it's my responsibility to make sure we've got enough scrutineers at each event and basically just make sure that the meeting goes really steadily as the meeting goes on and that we've got people where they need to be, when they need to be there. Everything's set up for the day now. We've got the scales out there. Um, basically, when the bikes come in from a race, they'll actually be weighed to make sure that they're within the guidelines for weighing. Any homologation checks that are carried out will actually be done in here. And there's the guys with the calipers and everything else all ready to get that sorted out. We've got the ladies in the paddock office that are actually got all the paperwork, the computer set up, so we can do any reporting we need to up to the race control centre. And who better to explain it than the woman in charge of the paperwork for every bike in every race? Each rider has his own record card which follows him right through the series. And on the record card, all the details such as when the bike has been scrutineered by one of the technical officials. Clothing and helmet of the rider are also checked and recorded. So we check the helmet to see that it's securely fastened and there's no damages on. And then he also has an ACU sticker on, which he must have on for racing. So there you go. Anybody not quite up to the standard of John Reynolds et al can at least take part on a race weekend.